Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Laura Harris. Normally, the screech of dragsters and the roar of NASCAR short track racers dominate the air at Irwindale Speedway. But this time, the vehicles zipping around the track and parking lot ran almost silently. My favorite part was being in a, in a refuge truck and overtaking another refuge truck. It made me feel like I was an F1 racer. Commercial vehicle brands and fleet operators congregated at the raceway for a two-day ride and drive event to demonstrate the latest battery electric trucks. Almost 500 attendees from private companies, utilities, and government agencies drove electric semi-tractors, box trucks, street sweeps, flatbeds, and garbage trucks for a demonstration of green powertrain technology. Basically, they want to see it, right? They need to see it in action, see how it performs versus diesel and CMG. There's a lot of stories around range. There's a lot of different um, stories going on. So people really are very interested, but they need to see it perform. Having driven these trucks, I can tell you they're quieter. They're less there's less vibration. They're easier to drive. They have more power and they're cooler. You don't have this big combustion engine sitting underneath you. Officials say this is an event for customers that are facing regulations to see what options and offerings they have to integrate into their fleet team in the near term. Other fleet customers want to kick the tires on these zero emission vehicles as they face regulatory timelines for phasing out combustion engine trucks. Yeah, we get a lot of customers coming through. Essentially, our customers that are impacted by upcoming rules and regulations tend to look at the different options of electric vehicles. We have a lot of different electric vehicles here today. But some say the cost is a big concern. One official says it has to be at a price point they can make work with the rates they charge in the environment they operate in. They're uh, two to three times more expensive than a comparable diesel vehicle. They require a lot more power, a bigger pipeline from the utility to get the electricity there. There, there are just a lot of issues with charging big vehicles. Another concern, charging station installation. One engineer says customers are interested in electric trucks, but they need to learn more about installing chargers and how vehicles operate. So when it comes to an electric future, the diesel vehicles are gonna disappear and make way for zero emission vehicles. That's gonna be good for the communities. There'll be a lot less pollution. It's gonna be good for the truck drivers. Thanks, Jerry, for taking the time to speak with us. To read more on his story, stay on autonews.com. Well, that's all we have for today. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Be sure to follow us online at autonews.com and on our social channels at Automotive News. For updates from our reporters all day, every day. I'm Laura Harris. Have a great night, and I'll see you all next time.